There's a whole range of cases, mm -hmm. but basically uh, mononational, so single nationality UK, who have got documentation, the lion's share, almost all of them that want to come out, have been uh, brought home. The ones that are remaining, and we're, uh, we've done an amazing job, two and a half thousand UK nationals, if you go back to April, and remember it was in April, it wasn't just all starting in August, where we said you must leave the country, you should leave the country, we'll support you to do so. So we've said, seen two and a half thousand British nationals come back. What remains are rather complex cases, large family units where one or other may be documented or, or may be a clearly a national, but it's not clear whether the rest of them are. So we've got a great team on the ground in Kabul and in King Charles Street in the FCGO checking and getting all of those residual cases on where they're eligible. I'm not going to give the precise time. And what we do know is that we're working towards the end of the month. The military planners will work out how much time they need to withdraw their equipment, their staff. And what, what's really important is we'll make the maximum use of all the time we have left. Just to give you a sense now, mm -hmm. in the last 24 hours, I checked the numbers coming in, we've secured uh, 2,000 back to the UK. So the system is operating at full speed, uh, at full capacity, and we'll use every last remaining hour and day to get everyone we can back, the British nationals, the Afghans who worked so loyally for us, we're getting the achieving scholars back, uh, also women's rights defenders and journalists. Some of the reporting, some of the assertions you just put to me, just not true. But we were focused overwhelmingly on securing the airport, making sure, and I was engaged in meetings, the, the, the stuff about me being lounging around on the beach all day, just nonsense. Uh, the, the stuff about me paddleboarding, nonsense. The sea was actually closed, it was a, a red notice. I was focused on the COBRA meetings, the Foreign Office team, the Director and the Director General, and the international engagement. And as a result of the actions of the government, mm -hmm. 9,000 people, uh, British nationals, Afghan workers, were secured back to the UK.